All right, this is my audience. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Okay, I'm going to set this up here, and we're going to hope that... No, we're not going to hope. We're going to... Yeah, yeah, now that... Yeah, now that you've shown us, we believe you're going to be Okay. Is it over yet? So, a Washington family goes to the sports store, and the son picks up an Oregon jersey goes to his sister and says, I've decided that uh, I'm going to be a Duck fan and I want to buy this jersey. What do you think? Well, she whacks him on the back of the head, says, go talk to mom. So he goes, takes the jersey to his mom, says the same thing. She whacks him on the head and says, go talk to your father. So the son goes to his father, brings the jersey, says, dad, I've decided I want to be an Oregon fan and I want to buy this jersey. The dad whacks his son on the head and says, no son of mine is going to be caught dead in that garbage. Well, about an hour later, they're getting into the car, and as they're getting in, the father turns around to the son and says, well, I hope you've learned something today. The son says, well, I have, dad. And the father says, well, good. Why don't you share it with the rest of us? The son says, well... I've only been an Oregon fan for one day, and I've already learned I hate you husky bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I love that joke because it really highlights the animosity between the two teams. It really shows how much these two teams dislike each other. Uh, a man named Dan Raley, he's a uh, reporter for the Seattle Post Intelligencer. He said, bitterly divorced couples who come face to face when handing off the kids for the weekend get along better than this. <laughs> now, I know all of you, and I know that all of you have your opinions of the rivalry and your feelings about it. I've grown up a loyal Duck fan myself and uh, also have my opinions. I realized, though, that for this speech, I needed to put those aside, and I wanted to find out where did this actually begin. And uh, I did some research online, and particularly through a website at a place called Malamute.com, an article called The Border Wars. Um, I was really able to boil it down to two key points in the history of the two teams. The first being a slight against Oregon in 1948, and the second an offense taken by Washington in 1956. But first, let's start with the 1948 slight. This year, Oregon was tied with the California Golden State Bears for the, uh, who would be number one in the, cha in the conference. Who would go to the bowl game was coming down to a vote amongst the other teams in the conference. It was assumed that the southern teams would vote for California and that the northern teams would vote for Oregon. Well, not only did Washington not vote for Oregon, but they actively persuaded Montana, who was a part of the conference at the time, to also vote for California. This was seen as a slap in the face by Oregon and a show of no loyalty. Oregon fans never forgot it, and that was the defining moment of the rivalry for the Ducks. Well, let's skip forward to 1956. And Washington finds themselves embroiled in a scandal pertaining to paying their football players. Now, in college sports, this is a big no-no, and it ended up in extremely heavy sanctions against the Washington sports program, not just the football team, but the entire sports program. Washington fans assumed that it was Oregon had been the whistleblower and that they had done so out of spite. It didn't help, the, it didn't help that the chief investigator of this was a man named Orlando Hollis, who happened to also be the head of the... Um, the law school in Oregon. Washington never saw, took offense, and this was the beginning of the hatred on Washington's side. The bitterness has continued over the years, with myriad of offenses just continuing to take place. The 30-minute victory dance by Washington in the middle of Watson Stadium. The dousing of Washington sports trophies and spit by visiting Oregon players. 50 years have passed since the original offense in 48 and 56, but I wouldn't place your bets on this rivalry ending anytime soon. 
As a man named Jacob Thorpe said, he's a writer and editor of, the, of a Seattle-based sports website called SB Nation. While the physical battle may take place on the football field, the rivalry manifests itself in the hearts and the minds of the fans. Thank you. True. True. All right. All right.